everybody. I am filming from my sick bed. I have been sick for the last couple of days, running a fever, body aches, coughing my head off. Ugh. And that's probably why I sound like I'm a smoker, which I can assure you I'm not. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, but even though I feel like doo-doo and really just want to lay back down, I wanted to share something with you all. I woke up this morning with this idea and just felt kind of an urgency to get it filmed and shared as quickly as possible. So um, I wanted to share with you all, hopefully some encouragement and some ideas, uh, how I make money so I can homeschool my kids. Um, before homeschooling and my my before homeschool life, um, I most, most of my jobs were... Um, office type stuff like business administration, clerical, um, uh, office management type things. Um, my heart has always, always, always been at home and, um, but I had to work. I had to make money somehow. And then before I had for a couple of years kept children in my home, but the income got to be very inconsistent and it was really hurting us more than it was helping us. Um, and I really got discouraged and decided to go back to working outside of the home, which is still to this day a decision that I regret. Because, you know, if you're a young mom listening, I, I am just telling you straight up, those are years that you will not get back. And if there's any way that you can make it work to stay at home, I implore you to do it because you will not regret it. I, you will not regret it, not one bit. For every pack of ramen noodles that you'll have to eat or things that you don't get to do because it costs money, um, being at home with your children, you will never regret that. So with that out of the way, um, but when we accepted our calling to homeschool, which is how I'm going to phrase it because it really was the Lord leading us to it. Um, we just had to own it. Um, my husband let me know that, uh, you know, that I was still going to have to make money somehow. And the amount that he threw out that I would need to make was really, I don't feel like he was taking into consideration expenses that we weren't going to have with me not working. Um, because when you work, you know, especially if you work in a nice office setting, you have nice clothes, nice shoes, um, probably wear more makeup than you would at home. Um, you know, good haircuts, you know, just making sure that you look the part, which is very important. You know, it's, that's part of being a professional. Also the gas money, um, the childcare, the, um, eating out, things like that, that you won't have to worry about if you are at home. So, um, anyway, I've never made that amount that he threw out there. I've come close on some weeks, but not consistently. Um, so what I do to make money is first I clean houses. I clean four houses, um, two houses a week and they're on an every other week schedule. And that works out for me because, um, my husband is home on one of those days to stay off. And so he's able to stay at home with the kids and make sure that they get their schooling done or, you know, just be there for safety reasons or whatever. <clears throat> And then when I picked up my last two houses, I scheduled those for Fridays just because I like having the middle of the week free for field trips and, um, you know, other things that, meet, you know, trips to the library, things like that, um, that I can do with my kids for homeschool. Um, and that has really, cleaning houses is my most consistent and biggest form of income currently. Now, I do eventually want to make money exclusively from home. Um, which I talked about in a previous video, um, and I feel like that that will happen for me. I just have to be patient, and I am being patient. So all things in, in God's time. Um, the next thing that I do is um, I really like to craft, and in May, I made my mom a really cute tea towel for Mother's Day. And I posted a picture of it on social media, and people were asking me, Oh my goodness, are you selling these? I would so buy one. So then I made a couple of more and just posted them on Facebook and Instagram just to see if anybody would be interested. And I mean, I'm not kidding, like in less than 30 seconds, people are buying them. And then I started getting orders and it's really been a lot of fun. I do more than tea towels, but tea towels has been my biggest seller and um, which I'm not complaining because I really enjoy doing them. Okay. 
Um, and that business is called Tangibly Southern. I have an Instagram page and I also have a Facebook page and an Etsy shop, which I can link all of those down below if you're interested in seeing what I do. Um, during the holidays, I bake. And um, not that my food is anything extravagantly wonderful or gourmet, but I do like to bake and I'm pretty good at it. And, um, and people like it. And so, and I think it really helps them because like around the holidays, it's one less thing they have to worry about. And so they're willing to pay, uh, for from scratch, delicious, tangibly delicious food, which is what I call my baking business. But I only sell to close friends and family. Another thing that I do is I have a couple of friends who are heavily involved in our local farmer's market. And if their regular employees aren't able to show up for work, you know, sickness or vacation or whatever, I am on their backup list. And I have been very blessed and gotten to work at Farmer's Market several times. Um, and it's absolutely my favorite thing because the Farmer's Market is my happy place. I love being around all of these hardworking people. Um, and it's just really inspiring. I also have a friend who has a catering business. And she has enlisted my help a few times. Um, cooking for the events as well as serving at the events. And the last thing that I have done to make money recently anyway is uh, babysitting. Just, you know, being available and if um, somebody needs child care, as long as they're willing to bring the child to my house, then I'll, I will watch their child for them uh, while they work or do whatever. It's just, um, you know... It just, it has to be able to fit within our homeschool schedule. And so far it's worked out pretty good. I have recently monetized my blog. Um, and I'm looking forward to monetizing my YouTube channel. Yeah, when I, I think, I'm not, I don't know exactly like when the best time to monetize a YouTube channel is, but I will be doing that, um, as soon as that opportunity presents itself. So, um... So those are the ways that I make money and I'm able to homeschool. So I just want to encourage all of you that are out there who um, want to homeschool and you feel like you need to be home. There are ways that you can do it. Just decide what your skills are, decide what your lifestyle is, and then think about ways that you can um, fit, uh, you know, making an income in there. Um, and, and really read a lot of um, homeschool blogs. There are a lot of women that share um, ideas. There is a gunman outside of my door, a.k.a. my son with his Nerf gun. I also want to let you know that in uh, homeschool communities, you will find a lot of two-income parents where both parents work full-time. So there are people who are making it work. You just... You know, whether, where there's a will, there's a way. And if this is something that you feel very strongly about, I just want to encourage you that people with all kinds of different lifestyles and incomes, they're making it work because it's a priority. And, you know, we didn't decide to homeschool because it was convenient or because it was ideal. Um, we did it because we felt like that's what the Lord wanted us to do. And we have been blessed for it. So, if you have any questions, if you need any direction to resources or information, please, please, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you're a homeschool parent <clears throat> and you make money from home or you work for yourself so that you can generate an income and be at home with your children, please also uh, leave that in the description box below because you might help somebody out. Um, but anyway, that's all I have for you today. And I hope this was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe if you find this helpful at all. And um, until next time.